So I generally like to, to run challenges a few times a year that are a solid 12, 12 week block of intensive fitness coaching, nutritional coaching, and kind of lifestyle overhaul. So I create these challenges in hopes that in 12 weeks, people are able to see that in a short period of time, they're able to kind of change their lifestyle. It doesn't take years and years of navel gazing. You can do it in a short period of time with the proper support and the proper tools. I usually provide one, at least one spot in each of my challenges that's considered a nominated spot in that I pay for that spot and the person who is nominated for that spot is normally chosen by family or friends and it's often uh, somebody who either doesn't have the time or the resources or who has struggled with their health in some way shape or form or possibly has gone through some kind of an emotional difficulty or something has happened in their life, a roadblock. And this provides them an opportunity to be in a safe and supportive atmosphere at no cost to them and, and it gives them a chance to get their life back on track. Patty came in and it was really funny. The moment I saw Patty, I said, you're in. And she kind of went, what do you mean? And I said, you're in. I could just see it in her eyes that uh, she was nervous, but I could also see that there was a little bit of a fire there. And so we had a really good, a really good discussion and I was straight up with her about what the expectations were as a nominated challenger. That if you were gonna take a spot that was 12 weeks that could go to somebody else, that you had to have the commitment and the drive to do it for the full 12 weeks. She took it on. She was nervous, I believe, and I think she was worried about some of the challenges that she would face. But I said to her, I think you should do it. I want you to do it, and she did it. And obviously she, she succeeded, and her goal was to win. I haven't done anything like this before, but I've tried probably every other weight loss thing out there and started a diet probably every Monday of my life for maybe the last 20, 25 years. It's a struggle. I think I'm an emotional eater. Um, so just the emotions of everyday life gets in the way. I want to be healthier. Um, yeah, I want to like pictures of myself. Um, I work at a fantastic salon. Actually, my job is to make people feel good about themselves. I'm an esthetician and I'm the only girl at the shop that doesn't have her picture on her business card. So I want to be able to put my picture on my business card and feel good to give it out. And I also would love to have a family picture of me and my boys. I have two, I have two boys, active boys, and not my mom, not my grandma, not myself do I have any family pictures with just me and my boys. I have a million pictures of my kids but none with me and my kids. And I also, um, I am on Facebook. I have no pictures of myself on Facebook either. Um, it's just my, I just have pictures of my kids. Cause that's what looks good right now. My whole lifestyle, my eating, my love for life, my love for the gym, um, everything's just a lifestyle change for me. It's a part of my life. They're hard, but they're fun, and I'm enjoying them. The goal of the challenge is to push people to their limits, especially people who have struggled in the past with um, reaching their fitness goals and not feeling like they had the motivation or the push. Usually the people that enter the challenges are people who need a little bit of a challenge or they need a little bit of a race or a competition. They thrive on that, they get a little bit of an adrenaline rush from that. I, that was it's probably the only day. Maybe tomorrow we'll be back. <laughs> uh, the boxing, definitely. I'll yes. see the ropes. Oh yeah, the ropes are hard too. <laughs> the ropes are really hard. Um, my knees got a little bit sore, but um, they're getting better and yeah, I feel awesome. I lost 10 pounds and 8 inches in my first two week weigh in and tomorrow will be my fourth week weigh in. So we'll see you tomorrow. One of the most important things that I like to focus on is the whole person, right? So when clients come into me, especially my weight loss clients, they're, they're coming into me, they're driven by an emotion. And just, just as Patty was driven by emotion, 
really, I think the, her greatest struggle was, you know, her ability or inability to, to be with her kids. So many people are driven by emotion, and that's why everybody wants to be healthy. You want to look better, feel better, and that's coming from a personal place, whether it's um, for some, you know, whether it's uh, as the result of some kind of a bad experience or whether you're just, you don't feel like you're the, the person that you used to be, but whatever that feeling is, it's, it's real and it's strong. And so what I try to do is make sure that when they come in, they experience the whole thing. So everything is getting healed. Their body's getting healed, whether it's through their healthy eating and healthy choices. So you're healing the body with the healthy eating, uh, proper nutrition and timing of meals. But then on top of that, even more importantly, is getting moving again and, and feeling strong and healing that body and feeling comfortable within your body. And that's where the fitness part of it comes in. For example, with Patty, she was not comfortable in her own skin. So we started with nutrition, right away I got her eating healthy, and then that gave her more energy and more confidence to feel strong through her workouts. And then the second part is dealing with the soul and the lack of confidence that people feel when their body does. They feel like they've somehow kind of given in and they don't have the strength, they don't have the energy, they have too many things going on in their lives and they feel like they've kind of put themselves last and to kind of put yourself first can often feel selfish but the reality is you're only as good to other people as you are to yourself and so in in the case of the people who come in who feel like they really need that help it's an important part so you have to heal the body heal the soul and then the mind just follows naturally oh my goodness 44 awesome you've had the biggest losses I've ever had 44 pounds in 12 weeks You've lost tw almost 20% of your body weight, so that's a whole person. Right. And you've lost 22 and 4 eighths inches. That's phenomenal. Like, this is this is why I do what I do because I'm here to help you get fit and healthy so that you can have a good, high quality of life with your kids and you can move forward. So what I'm going to do is, as a gift to you, I'm going to give you three months here at the Gym Park Avenue to continue on your journey with fitness and see if we can get under that 200 mark and get you closer to your goal. So there's a surprise, oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Part of the reason that you wanted to do this, from what I understand, was because you uh, wanted to be more available for your children, right? And um, you didn't have any pictures. No. <laughs> so anyway, we have a, a gift for you because we feel it's important when you have kids to have that documented, right? And so, um, Isabella has, has given you the gift of photography and she wants to document that <laughs> so that you can have pictures with your children. If you looked at Patty now and saw her boxing now, you wouldn't believe the transformation. She can keep up and she inspires everybody and keeps everybody going as well. She uh, is unstoppable. She's an unstoppable force when she runs she keeps running the hills and she boxes until the sweat's pouring down. Quite a different girl than when she first came and she was, you know, didn't have a lot of self-confidence. That's uh, totally changed. She's crazy now. Now, it was just the first chapter. I've now signed up for the uh, second challenge. It starts September the 30th and um, I'm going to lose my final 40.